All right. Well, uh, a lot of students sometimes struggle with how to identify increasing and decreasing, this is my notation, exponential functions, exponential functions. And it's rather easy. And if you don't know, I'm just going to quickly just go through this and take a couple minutes just to kind of explain this. If you have a function, an exponential function, so you have a base, and that's x, and you realize the base is greater than 1. So example, if you had y equals 2 to the x, y equals um, e to the x, y equals 1.5 to the x, all right? All of these have a base of 1, and therefore all are increasing exponentials. Their graphs look like this. They have a y-intercept usually right here, but as the x values increase, the y values will also increase, and they go up. And they have basically a graph that looks like this. Now, if you have a function where the base of x and the base is less than 1 but greater than 0, example of these would be like y equals um, 1 half x y equals 0.3x, y equals um, 3 fourths x. Anything where the base is less than, or sorry, less than 1 greater than 0, you have an exponential. Once again, you still have a horizontal asymptote at 0, going down right here, but it's going down. So, what you're looking for, and as the popular song is, it's all about the base, the base, um, not the exponent. It's all about the base, the base, not the exponent necessarily. However, be mindful that you can also, well, just so you know, these are decreasing exponentials, decreasing, all right? However, be conscious of what is happening because if there's a reflection, that also changes the increasing and decreasing exponential properties. For example, if I have all right, a base which is greater than 1, all right, however, I reflect it. Okay, I reflect it anyway. So if I go and reflect it, any type of reflection will make it the opposite. So if I have y equals negative b to the x, what happens is that this graph, instead of going up like this and increasing, it's going to be reflected over the y-axis, or sorry, x-axis, and the graph is going to go like so. So now it becomes a decreasing exponential. The same way is if you have y equals b to the negative x, that actually changes to a reciprocal, which would make it y equals 1 over b to the x, which makes it a fraction, like we have up here, and makes the graph look like this, which once again creates a decreasing exponential. So when you have reflections, it changes the, to the opposite of what your original base would be. Just to kind of show you, and inversely, if we have the base, which is x, where b is less than 1 greater than 0, all right, and you had this b value, all right, and you did this, well, if you start off like so, and you realize that, okay, my graph originally is going to be decreasing, but then Remember, this is a different graph. B is going to be less than 1, so it's like the ones right here in blue. But you do a reflection to this. So if we put a negative here, well, well so that changes it to becoming an increasing exponential. So reflections change the opposite of where they originally would be. But once again, regardless if you don't have any reflections, and you want to figure out if there's a function's increasing or decreasing, 
the key thing is identify the base. And from there, the reflection can help you determine what you have. But the base is the key. It's all about the base, about the base. Greater than one, increasing. It's all about the base, about the base. Less than one, greater than zero, decreasing. It's all about the base, about the base. All right, greater than one, increasing. Less than one, greater than zero, decreasing. And that's it. All right, so I hope this helps you out. Um, and good luck, God bless, and the rest of your problems.